Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look on how to create some esports promotional posters. As you can probably can tell, I'm a little bit sick right now, so you have to excuse the voice. But last week I posted on my YouTube community page what kind of video you wanted to see. Uh, although the full stream package won, um, that will have to wait because it takes a little bit more work to get that video done. So today we'll be looking at how to create an esports promotional poster. And as always, everything I used in this video is linked in the description below. And if this video reaches 200 likes, I will also release the free template for this. So yeah, give this video a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so to create a promotional poster just like this, we're going to start off by making a new layer. Let's import the picture of the player that we are using. In my case, it will be this picture of Frozen from uh, Face Cisco team. And I think we're going to start off with uh, doing the background, so I'm going to head into my rigger pack. And go to Grunge and Textures right here. And we're going to grab a couple. First off, it's going to be this one. We're also going to use this uh, shattered glass effect. As well as this plastic wrapper. Yes, it's going to be this like half tone texture. We're going to grab those. And uh, we're going to start off by this one, putting it behind the player. Control and T, I'm just going to flip it. Kinda like so. Then we're gonna take the glass effect, also put it behind. Resis resize it like so. I'm gonna grab this half tone and just put it behind as well, right here, I think. And for a glass wrapper, also put it behind. I'm gonna make it a lot bigger so it fits the whole image. Okay, like so. And we could actually make this the blending mode. Uh, I think it's going to be subtract. Right, so that is um, the first step to creating our background. Next up, I'm going to grab our text tool and using the font, let's see, Vanguard CF. I'm just going to type out face and make it kind of like an off, off red color. Kind of like this, I think, yeah. Control and T, we're going to flip it, make it a lot bigger and put it behind. Kind of like so, in the middle. And now we're going to do a really cool effect, so Control and J, we're going to make a duplicate. And we're going to make both layers, uh, rasterized layers. Just like so. And with the first layer, you can hide the second one for now. With the first layer, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. I'm just going to add some Motion Blur to it, kind of like so. And the next layer, Filter, Blur, Caution Blur. I'm just going to add a little bit of Caution Blur, maybe like 10 pixels. And we're going to make this layer the blending mode dissolve and we get this really cool like yeah like particle kind of grunge effect yeah cool and make sure that the glass wrapper layer is above the text so we get some uh, some texture to it as well nice now that I'm looking at it I think I'm just going to grab the the plastic wrapper display right here and it's gonna dry down the opacity just a little bit kind of like so so we see a little bit more of the background basically and to finish off the background I'm going to use the face logo and I'm thinking of adding like a like a glass effect and to do that I follow this tutorial so I'm not going to show you how I made it uh, because you can follow along it's uh, quite quick and easy tutorial but the outcome will look something like this 
Uh, it's quite subtle in this design and I think I'm okay with that. Uh, but uh, it's a really cool effect that you can use for for other designs and uh, posters. So yeah, it's a great tutorial, so go, go check it out. Next, before we add any text, I think I'm just going to do some, just some basic uh, color correction. Uh, we're going to start off by adding a gradient map. And I'm just going to use like a bluish uh, gradient, like so. Like a dark of blue to a light blue. I'm going to make this the blending mode soft light. Let's drag down the opacity just a little bit. Maybe around 40-50%. Next I'll focus on the, the photo right here. It is a quite well lit and good photo that I used. Uh, so I don't have to do a lot. So I'm just going to add a uh, black and white. Let's drag down the reds a little bit. Maybe drag up the yellows. Make it a clip mask to the, the photo. And we're going to make this the blend mode hard light, but drag down the opacity. I think around 15%. I will also add a curves layer to drag up the, just the highlights a little bit. Can like that. Drag down opacity just a little bit. And I think I want to darken the mood a little bit so i'm just going to also add a vibrance layer and then drag down the vibrance just like so just some simple adjustments right cool uh, so let's now focus on the text i'm gonna grab our text tool again uh, same font as before vanguard cf i'm just gonna type out the game day or whatever your poster want to say. And put it kind of like right here. And then we can do another uh, kind of effect to this one. So make a copy, Control J. Go to rasterize that layer. We can hide the first one for now. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's add a blur of kind of like five to 10, depending on the size. Then we can show the first layer again. We're going to add a layer mask. We're just going to grab our brush tool, color black. We're just going to paint out. We want to have this kind of like a blurred effect. I think the sides are usually a safe choice and maybe down here as well. Yeah, looks cool. And if you want, you can also make a copy of the blur layer and uh, make it dissolve again. If you want to have this particle effect, maybe you can add a layer mask to that as well. And paint out where you think the, the particles is too much. But I think I'm going to stick with this like basic blur effect for now. Let's add some more text. And now I'm going to change the font to uh, Platea. And I'm just going to type out some information that could be important. So I'm just going to type out maybe what competition it is and what day it is. Put it on this side of the text. Make a copy and maybe type out something else. Like uh, what day it will be at. Like so it on the other side and gonna grab both layers and drag down the opacity to maybe 67 percent yeah next we're going to grab our rectangle marker tool and make a rectangle kind of like so we can fill it in with black going to the layer size we're going to add a stroke we're going to make this the same red as we use for the text kind of like so a little bit smaller, I'm gonna duplicate it, put it off to the side, change the stroke color to blue or whatever the color of the opposite team is, okay, like so. Then we're going to drag down the fill of the layers 
and that way the stroke will remain but you can see the opacity of the black box uh, only changes so we burn around 30% grab our text tool now we're going to use Vanguard CF again just like versus make it a bit smaller and put it in the middle in between and in the boxes I'm just going to put the two uh, opposing teams so in the first one I'm just going to put face like so and let's pick a random team for the other one yeah I'm going to use liquid make it uh, white as well kind of like so perfect we can actually make this a uh, group move it up just a little bit yeah I think the background is a little bit dark right here so I think I can grab the glass shatter effect and maybe like flip it shatter glass on the other side as well and one last effect I'm gonna make a new layer grab our brush tool and pick the red from the text right here that we used and it's going to add some glow down here I'm going to make this layer the plane mode yeah screen works but I think lighten looks a little bit better yes that looks really cool actually and here I want it below the two boxes we get this like uh, opacity effect but I think we're going to drag down the fill just a little bit to around 30 perfect I think one more adjustment layer we're going to add some noise I think so solid color make it a gray go to filter uh, noise add noise and add about let's say 10% uniform and then monochromatic and make this plain mode soft light and we also have some noise going on perfect I think that looks really cool and um, we get kind of like a grungy background uh, but it's lit up well with this glow right here and um, yeah uh, we use some cool effects for text like here in the background and as well as the main text right here so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you have watched this far, uh, thanks so much for watching. And if this video reaches 200 likes, I will release the PSD for this. So yeah, give this video a like if you haven't already. Also, su subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that would um, mean a lot. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.